May 1924. Music, nature and modern technology meet for the first time with the BBC's first ever live outside broadcast. Cellist Beatrice Harrison playing along with the song of Nightingales, a show so popular the broadcaster repeated it annually for many years. Here, nestled in this Kent Nature Reserve, it's hoped this evening they can recreate that magical broadcast. She was obviously someone who just loved nature because she, it was her that identified the bird. It was uh, singing when she played and she did it and it was recorded and it's just, it's lived in people's hearts and minds since then, I think. You're normally playing in an enclosed space with a lot of reverberation, but just to play to, into the atmosphere is just wonderful. Nightingales migrate here in May and sing to mark their territory and to find a mate. It's quite light at the moment, isn't it, to, to hear a nightingale quite early in the day? Well, actually, nightingales will sing any time of the day and all day long and all night long as well. Uh, actually, I think You've heard one, haven't you? I saw you like, come on. I think, yeah, it's sort of somewhere over this way. They, um, the thing about the nightingale is that they'll sing a phrase and they'll pause and then they'll do another phrase and they'll pause. So when lots of other birds are singing at the same time, it can get easily overlooked. But then they'll kind of burst through it all and they'll come out with this beautiful song. And because each bit's different, then once you get your ear in, you realise that's the nightingale and then there's never any mistaking it. It's a unique song and unique way to be in harmony with nature. Caroline Faraday, BBC South East Today, Cooling.